Tonight, we continue to follow the fallout in Jersey City after the fatal police shooting of a man experiencing a mental health crisis last month. The family wants justice for Drew, the 52-year-old Andrew Jerome Washington, who was killed in the incident, accusing his death of being brushed aside because of the mayor's political ambitions. Senior political correspondent David Cruz reports. We do feel that the use of force yesterday was justified based on the circumstances and in line with police department training. In his 10 years as mayor, Steve Fulop has always tried to project an image of dispassionate leadership. In public, he keeps it cool, aloof, say some. He says it's about keeping an even keel when emotions are heated. In the case of the police shooting of Andrew Washington last week, though, the mayor's tone as he declared the shooting justified, was another example of Fulop failing to read the room. As evidenced by the raw emotions at a recent vigil for Washington, whose friends and family called Drew. Justice? 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 Do you feel like this mayor doesn't feel this community's loss? No, I don't I don't think so. I think he spoke at a turn when he the way he made the comment about Drew um, to to it made me feel as his aunt that uh, he didn't care. We just called to get help for someone with a mental crisis. So you're telling me my nephew didn't deserve to see a medical health professional that helped with um, mental illness. That's not what the mayor was thinking. He says the actual first response to the scene was from mental health professionals who deemed the situation dangerous enough to call in police. The arbiter of the facts in this case is going to be the state attorney general's office, which says it's investigating and could release the body cam footage of the incident as early as next week. The mayor, it must be said, is running for governor, and that's a prism through which Everything he does for the next year plus will be colored. This kind of thing projects an image of you as well across the state. Uh, I mean, what, look, I'm, I mean, I, look, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. But look, the politically easy thing to do in many circles within the Democratic Party is to criticize the police and to be in that camp. Um, my job as mayor is to call balls and strikes. It's one thing to be seen as a competent crisis manager, but right now, in this neighborhood, residents want fewer baseball metaphors and a little more empathy, at least. Drew was more than a statistic. He was a son, a cousin, a brother, a friend. He was also a sufferer of bipolar disorder a condition that needed medical attention, not the barrel of a gun. Imagine they didn't try and enter the room. We would have been having a different conversation today about how the police can sit outside when they were aware that somebody could harm themselves in that situation, and how could they let somebody bleed out and die when they're five feet away outside the room. There's a discussion to be had here about how these tragedies could be avoided or if they could be avoided at all. But with the mayor and police seemingly on one wavelength and the family and community on another, it's difficult to see where they might ever come into sync. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.